Welcome back, my friends. It's SJB here, and we've got another tower review video for you. We've got the Paladin Covenant today. So, uh, really quickly, just want to mention that this is a very low attack damage tower. It's got a lot of health, though. Very healthy units here. And they also have a medium amount of defense, so they're just a stalling loadout. Skills-wise, we get a, a, an extra guard here that gives us a uh, damage boost, which is kind of fun, I guess, but doesn't really meld well with the other random guys over here, but does meld well if you've got uh, uh, heroes or other units like Grim Wraiths or maybe even Rocket Gunners nearby that can all utilize uh, this ability right here. In addition, we've got the Healing Prayer, which gives the soldiers 25% uh, of their health back, and they become invincible for a little while. Um, or no, excuse me. When they reach 25% of their health, they become invincible and restore 12 health. So basically, I don't want to say they're unkillable, but as soon as they're close to dying, it's like, no. <laughs> Alright, let's jump into the uh, Blighted Farmlands here and show them off real quick. So in my reviews, I do want to mention really quickly that the way I am doing my reviews is I am building that tower and that tower alone. But of course, that is not a great way to actually understand if that tower is good or not. It's just a good example of how good they are by themselves. We're always going to combine towers together in unique ways and interesting ways with other loadouts. For example, I'd want to build an artillery or something like that if I was going to go for a big choke point right here. But I'm not going to do that in this video. We're just going to instead focus on these units, focus on their attack damage and their health, and whether or not they do 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 a good job as stunning things and as an eff effective addition to your team. So that being said, at a low health here, uh, low upgrade tier one, we've got a two to four attack damage. Not a lot, but 44 health. That's a reasonable amount of stunning power for me. Once we go up to the second tier here, we've got four to six, which is still very low, but we doubled our health to 88. Solid as crap. Now we're going up to seven to 10 and we get 132 health. So pretty consistent upgrades over time here. Nothing ridiculous, but we do get some armor from it. And lastly, we've got the fourth tier here, which is going to give double armor. It's going to give us uh, more health and obviously more attack, but again, not much. So uh, I'm going to get both these guys up to fourth year here. We're going to wait a little while and we're going to start to upgrade our units. So um, let's check them out, man. I mean, 11 to 15 attack is not nothing, just to be straight, especially when you almost never die. If you just keep stalling, 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 eventually the guys must die to your regular towers or to your regular attacks. If nobody can ever sneak through, you can never lose. So if you use defense right at the right points at the right choke points these guys can be solid it's just not usually my playstyle. i just want to show you it's not usually my playstyle, even though it's not a bad version of your playstyle. i like to usually go for a, a kind of attack all across the board here and eventually let things die sort of near the back if possible and i send my heroes to the front and kill the spawning units over here instead of letting them get anywhere near the choke points in the middle or anything um any which way um, here is the lead by example to give us a little extra attack here. So if we want to get some extra attack damage out of, again, our, uh, knights here, our heroes, or whatever, this can help us out a lot. Um, then we've got the healing, uh, prayer. So if we are almost close to dying here, we want to get a healing prayer so we can, uh, 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 try to, uh, heal ourselves up and just stay alive by becoming invincible and whatnot for a little while. It does not mean we are in unstoppable or invincible or anything like that, but it does, definitely does keep us alive for a lot, lot, lot longer, especially when we got a lot of other random towers to attack over here. So if you ask me, based on the amount of stalling power we have with the lack of killing power, we're actually doing pretty gosh darn good. I mean, there's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, 11, 12 different units that we're stalling here with some reinforcements, some random guys here with what we currently have. It's actually pretty good. And, and on top of the fact that there was literally Blight right there, like, that is a good example of what we want to do. We just want to stall, 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 and stall some more. So, um, straight up, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to give them a, a review point here. It's very difficult to go any further than what we currently did. Um, we can go a little higher here by healing uh, for uh, a little bit more. We can heal to 20 health for every 4 seconds. Uh, and then we can go a little bit higher than that uh, as well, but we're not making any money, so I'm just gonna go like this. I'm gonna use one quick ability here to get our money up. <laughs> this is not the way it's normally done, by the way. Uh, but we're gonna go for one more um, uh, ability here to get 32 health per second for four seconds. So basically, maxing out our health almost back up. I mean, 32 times four is 128. So uh it's like two-thirds of our health back whenever we get this uh, uh going here and of course it's whenever they're gonna get to the low health just whoop, walk on right back up 25 percent add it all back you're back to, to normal here so uh anyways as far as i'm concerned these guys do their job really really good they stall properly and i've got to give them a pretty reasonable rating here uh i'm gonna give them a solid 6.5 uh i don't think that they're bad in any way shape or form 
Um, it's just when I'd usually use barracks units, I'm not going to be going hardcore up to fourth tiers with lead by examples and healing prayers and all this stuff. I just build a couple of random barracks units just to stall people for a quick second. My towers just kill them all. So that's my play style. It may not be your play style, and if you disagree with me, that's totally fine. Let me know in the comments below why you think they're better or worse than me, and uh, uh, we can have a, a nice talk here. If you guys enjoyed, press the like button, subscribe, and of course, have a super duper delicious day.